It's okay, girl, just a scratch. Yep.
Calm down. Come on, Sorry. Let's... I, I don't know why I find this so entertaining. That's right. Keep going. Okay, okay. I really am done now. You've been warned now. Ah! You idiot. Okay. Sit down, my dearest friend, and show me just what you got. Now forgive me if I slip and stab you in the face. You know, I think the last time I played this was with Skinny and those boys and Strawberry. Now the fun part.
shit. You know, there's more shame in losing after you lose a finger. Hope you're ready. Ah. You're gonna lose sometime. Zyder. My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was. Shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them. Maybe more. But I reckon you and me... We could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> Damn sons of bitches. Think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? Right. Follow me. How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Easy. Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. That's from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he can... Didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, to the gang, Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for then? Camp funds, supplies, and the like. <laughs> The fact you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way, don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. 
And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? They had a good show in there, didn't they? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked down in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now, that was bloody chaos. Did you get split ah. off with Mac? Morgan. Nope, didn't see him. I lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't read a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. All right, that left away. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. Up here, Morgan. Whoa. Go the rest on foot. I want them to hear it. Coming. Here, boy, you deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. One of them outside. This is good. It is. Hey there. Did to your pals here. Okay, okay, I give up. Don't shoot. I ain't armed. If you want to leave, you'll tell me where that money's stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right. You go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine here. Get the hell out of here, and don't look back. So, here we are. We got some good stuff. <sighs> Why don't you see what else you can find, Sean? you be taking no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Dug this up all by myself. A proper lead. All right, all right. You heard him, right? He said the stash was behind a loose board in the bedroom. You find anything yet? Don't want to overstay our welcome, do we?
This is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need to lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> There's gotta be other places out there like this. What the devil are you looking at? Huh? I'm, I'm sorry? Not side. No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined! How so? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. What? My animals. They escaped. And now I'm... I'm buggered. What, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu Heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend, help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod, distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right, madam. It's bloody Margaret, not madam. Margaret, mistress of fucking danger. What they done to you?
Grief! You found him! Our zebra! <laughs> well, you can call him that. <laughs> Although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler. Oh dear, you're missing the point, aren't you? It's an illusion, a trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses. Confound comprehension. Hoodwink your audience? Hoodwink? Our audiences? <laughs> Dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. No one will pay for the truth. They only pay for deception. The allure of the stage, dreams and reality. Ah. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo Land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning there in the glare of those arc lamps, something mundane into something extraordinary. It's the difference between prose and poetry. It's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. Well, as long as, <laughs> as, long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment... Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. But, um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caligar Way. Please, I hate to ask. All right, I'll see what I can do. Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, uh, you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <clears throat> no, nah, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, he weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and, uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. Your lion from uh, Timbuktu, weren't you? Oh, from Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. Of course. Which way'd he go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. I got it. Got the trail. These are paw prints. You paint this dog? There's some pigment here. Looks like back like blood to me. What's this? Shit. Found your dog. Ex dog, ex lion. Hey, boy. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took him. <sighs> That'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. But your tiger is a wild cat? Uh huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. <sighs> well, let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. <clears throat> The other half? Really? I'm gonna put him in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, uh, behind that log then. <clears throat> okay. Grubs up. Stay down. She won't be too far away. Come quick. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, dog. 
ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. She shut it. Let's go. We got her! Okay. Drive, will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. She's still eating. I would have thought, since they was close and all. Well, wild creatures turn on each other. Seeming friendly one minute, dinner the next. This is this comes easy. I mean, I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. Is that right? No, not really. Hey, um, I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. Arthur Morgan. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell me, Miss Nash, how you end up in this rank? I, I guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Margaret. We got to talking, and you can probably tell in this field he's the ace of spades. He's a card, all right. It's my modest hope one day to be the world's second bravest woman animal wrangler. Then so. You think? I hope so. Top five, at least. It depends on how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. Maybe one of these days, the best female for the job will actually be a female. Oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. We lost the main road around here when the dust was up. Be careful or you might get back to you. We'll lose an axle in this ground. And maybe an animal, too. Okay. You know the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out. Mr. Margaret's a lot of things, but best female navigator ain't one of them. I uh, imagine you're right about that. We was tearing around here, looking for any kind of landmark, when over we go. Whole caravan toppled. Found each other and some shelter, but when the wind died down, the animals was gone. Then... Aha! I see you found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good! Jolly good! You know, tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint. Makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're gonna want to be a lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her do it. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway lion, or are you gonna pay me for these misfits? Look, I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cow barn in Rhodes is hardly Drury Bloody Lane. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. Be a dear and fix me a gin. in here. Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. It looked like a lion to me. 
That's a dog in there. Dog? Now, if you'll excuse me. Step aside. What? I said step aside. Shot the thing. Is it dead? I pray that thing's a goner. Whoever owned that beast got some answering to do. Might be useful for me to know that this time the animal was actually real, you moron. Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for. You haven't a... clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I know. A knew. goose will hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand, and they feel the roar. And they, well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell. This is Ramo, boy. Well, it was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is. You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado, as green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes, one man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Your Daddy ain't here, and we had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the line? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. Yeah, I won't keep you. So long. So long, Mr. Morgan. Next time you see me, I'll be topping the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill.
Oh yeah, real clever. Get out of here, fool. Well, what have we got here? Is this your dumb way of looking for trouble? See about this. You having fun? Fitting that I'd be drinking the devil's brew. I'll be seeing him soon enough. You're... You're a place called Four Rigs? South of Strawberry. Captain, Indians penned in their lock cattle. I ain't know what's worse. Seeing the ones we killed or watching the other ones die. The slow way. <sighs> well, they pay well. Them government boys. But the money don't last long. Uh-uh. It's, it's what you did. Sticks around. I know the feeling. Uh, I was a, a y young man then, but I still see them faces clear as yesterday. I do. Well, that's hard, partner. I might risk the old eyes a minute. Feeling very sleepy all of a sudden. You came to your senses. Go away.
Okay then, girl. Oh, got friends, kid. Huh. 